Robert Fallon married a dumbass, a loser. In Thanksgiving, I can't stand this kid, that I actually put, he loves hot chocolate, and I put uh, x likes in his hot chocolate. So he had diarrhea all night, which I enjoyed seeing him. So when I get mad or um, sad or whatever, I always get under his skin so I could show Fallon what kind of a loser she's married. Okay, he needs help. You, you, I don't need help. Well, that was Kalud confessing to sneaking a laxative into her son-in-law Steve's hot chocolate. Now, with my daughter's help. Kalud's husband and Fallon's father Jerry is here, and you don't like him either. Uh, that's really not true. Uh, I I love Steve, and well, I'm giving my perspective. Okay. Okay, your perspective is very outspoken. I believe that, uh, to say the least. I believe that. Uh, <laughs> that Fallon and Steve really are meant for each other. They're, they are their best friend. However, okay, my perspective is more about my daughter's happiness. That's all I care about, her long-term happiness, not her short-term happiness. Mm -hmm. Right now, you know, as is mentioned, she makes a significant amount more money than Steve. And a so lot what, more. what that does is they've That's created a certain a lifestyle that they're used to and that Fallon's used to. And my concern is when they do decide to have children, Fallon was a dancer her entire life. Steve was a hockey player. So whether they have a boy or a girl, they're going to want to put them in something oh, that's very expensive and very time consuming. My concern is once Fallon has a baby and her maternal instincts <clears> kick <throat> in, is she going to want to be a stay at home mom? Yes, whether she it's is. for six months she or sure a will. year. And if so, will Steve's finances be able to sustain? Nope the lifestyle that they're used to. Nope, it won't. And if not, is that going to cause a problem with Fallon where she's going to resent having to work instead but, of wanting to And she will. But, okay, but, the, let, let me, but let me ask you something here. And, and I, I get where you're going, and thank you f for that. It gives me an idea of where you stand in this. Um, but listen, I, I do have two grown children. Uh, one's married and the other one's not. And They're both working, I bet. Uh, they are. Uh, the rest of my case. Steve, Steve does work. You can't say he doesn't work, and he works not enough. in a very well. But he's a paramedic firefighter, mm -hmm. and it's not his fault that people don't get paid let, for doing the type of his job something. like Fallon gets paid. And, and listen, I, I, you know, parents know what they want, and they know certain things, and and I do think I know something about people in relationships. I don't think That's as much as I don't think as much as you do. Because um, I, I don't have as much to say as you have to say. I'll say I that. I say the truth. But you say it the is truth as you see it. That's what I see. I'll it. tell you what you do. You say the truth as you see it, and you manage people by intimidation with the idea that if you talk louder and you talk longer, then you're going to come out the winner. But you've met the old boy with whom that doesn't work, lady. Well, we'll see. Because we'll see. I just don't. We'll see. I, I just don't buy into that. We'll see. I'm a mom. And, I have I mean, one daughter. You're even criticizing his clothes. You said you don't even have I'm on a tie. I wonder if even you gave it to him. Did you give it to you, him? You say you, you don't even wear a tie. You, you have a very legitimate. You have a very. You it. have a very legitimate career at this point. I'm and not I'll tell you what. The career. When you do what you do, when, when you work as a paramedic firefighter, I'm not questioning man, that. Man, I, I don't need you very often, but when I do, my life depends on it. And thank you for doing. <laughs> But not two, three days. Don't get a like, job. Just because you're on the spot right now, don't no, act like I'm not on the spot. It. I'm concerned, Dr. Phil. Let me ask you something. For God's if sake, you I were know him. You just don't know him. If you were going to categorize yourself as credible, I'm going to give you some choices. Credible, constructive, rude, loudmouth, and obnoxious. I'm all, Where would you put yourself? Be, all of them, if I have to be. I'm outspoken. I'm a okay. generous person. I'm a very good person. Ever, but because ever, I'm outspoken, ever, I'm bad. I don't think so. Do you ever shut keep up, your I'm mouth shut to you. long enough no. to find out no. if you have to no. be all those no. things? Shut up. Do I'm not you think to you. you're actually contributing something here by being obnoxious and rude? That's the only way I could do it. You know, whoever said no, it's none of your business. You're not living, you know, with me. You don't know anything. You don't need to worry about them. Just That's talk right. to me here. No, well, I, I can hear it. Okay. I can hear it. Um. And you speak up, Fallon, like you speak up to me. She doesn't need your permission to well, speak up. I'm just up. saying. She's I'm conducting this interview, and if I need your help, I know exactly where to find you. <laughs> okay? Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.